Welcome to Storytime with Mrs. G. Today's story is Rounding, Math Concepts Made Easy. The School Fair. It is time to set up the school fair. The children have to count many things to get ready. Their teacher is Miss Anita. She tells them that they will round numbers when counting. She explains that when rounding numbers, we often change them to the nearest 10. Rounding numbers makes it easier to solve number problems. Rounding does not give an exact answer, but an exact answer is not always needed. We round numbers up or down to make them easier to use. The teacher shows them a number line. They see that 12 is closer to 10 than 20. They round 12 down to the nearest 10. A number line is a tool that can help when rounding. Activity box, round the number 17 to the nearest 10. Use the number line to help you. Is 17 closer to 10 or closer to 20? Will you round down to 10 or up to 20? 17 is closer to 20, that's right. Learning the rounding rule. There are 38 children working at the fair. Miss Anita wants Allison to round 38 to the nearest 10. Miss Anita gives Allison a rule for rounding numbers with two digits. If the digit to the right is one, two, three, or four, round down to the lower 10. If the digit to the right is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, round up to the higher 10. Everything after the rounded number becomes a zero. 38, eight is the digit to the right, the number 38 can be rounded up to 40. Activity box. Ask a friend to write down a number between 10 and 20. Together, try to round the number to the nearest 10. Remember the rule. This poem gives another way to think about rounding. Find your number, look right next door. Four or less, just ignore. Five or greater, add one more. 38 rounds up to 40. Estimate the tickets. There are 83 children coming to the fair. Each child needs a ticket. Miss Anita gives Allison and Lee the tickets left from last year's fair. She asks them to estimate how many tickets they have. Estimating will show if the number is close enough. Allison counts 68 tickets. She rounds the number 68 to 70. Lee counts 36 tickets. He rounds the number 36 to 40. They add the rounded numbers together and get 110. They have enough tickets. The rounded numbers are easier for Allison and Lee to add. The total is not exact, but it is a good estimate. Activity box. Round the numbers 28 and 13, then add the numbers together. What is your answer? Now add 28 and 13 to get the exact number. Are the answers close? Which way was faster? Rounding length. Allison gets the face painting table ready. She must measure it to find a cloth that fits. She does not have a ruler, so she uses a non-standard tool instead. She uses tickets instead of inches or centimeters. She finds that the table is 22 tickets long. Allison has a red cloth that is 20 tickets long. She has a blue cloth that is 30 tickets long. The red cloth is closer to the right size, yet it is not long enough to cover the table. She uses the blue cloth instead. Miss Anita explains that it is important to be reasonable when rounding numbers. It does not make sense to use a cloth that is too short. The red cloth is 10 tickets shorter than the blue one. The blue cloth is 30 tickets long. The blue cloth will cover the entire table. The 22 tickets show the length of the table. The red cloth is 20 tickets long. The red cloth is too short. More rounding. Miss Anita asks Lee to get the ring toss table ready. To play ring toss, people throw rings around bottles to win prizes. She tells him to set up 35 bottles. 
We ask her how to round the number 35. The teacher reminds him of the rounding rule when the digit to the right is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, round up to the higher 10. Lee rounds 35 up to 40. Miss Anita tells him that this means he needs about 40 bottles. It is a good estimate. If they have 40 bottles, they will have extra if any bottles break. Activity box. Can you round the numbers 25 and 24? Round the numbers and then add them together. Use the rounding rule you have learned. Lee uses rounding to set up the ring toss game. Nearest hundred. Miss Anita says that 328 prizes were given out at the fair last year. She asked Lee to round the number 328 to the nearest hundred. To round the nearest hundred, look at the digit to the right of the hundreds column. That digit is in the tens column. If that number is a one, two, three, or four, round down. If it is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, round up. Round down or up to the nearest hundred. The number 328 rounded to the nearest hundred is 300. This means that 300 is a reasonable number of prizes to count. After all, they will have extra prizes in the box. Activity box. If your school calendar has 182 days, would you round up to 200 or round down to 100? Explain your thinking. You can pause the video and work this out. How many prizes does Lee need? He can use a number line to round 328 to the nearest 100. Rounding money. Allison and Lee have $5 to spend for lunch. Miss Anita takes them to buy two slices of pizza. The slices co cost $1.40 each. The total cost is $2.80. She asks them to round to the nearest dollar. That way, they will know about how much money will be left. Miss Anita tells them to be careful when rounding numbers with decimal points. Look at the number to the right of the decimal point and follow the rounding rule. Allison and Lee round $2.80 to $3. Next, they subtract $3 from $5. They find they will have about $2 left. Activity box. If you had $3 and spent $1.90, about how much would be left? Round $1.90 to the nearest dollar. Subtract the number of dollars from $3. Would you have enough money to buy a snack that costs $1? You can pause the video to figure it out. Would Allison and Lee have enough money to get a third slice of pizza? Money earned. Allison and Lee count the money earned at each of their booths at the fair. Allison counts $32.37 from the face painting booth. Lee counts $27.95 from the ring toss booth. They want to know about how much they earned in total. Miss Anita tells them to round the numbers to the nearest dollar. She reminds them to look at the number to the right of the decimal point. Everything after the rounded number becomes a zero. They add $32 and $28, they find out that they earned about $60. Adding money is easier if you round the numbers. Activity box, you have 13 marbles and your friend has 19 marbles. Round each number to the nearest 10, then add them together. About how many marbles do you have in total? You can pause the video and work this out. Books for the school library. The fair raises $168 on Saturday and $123 on Sunday. Miss Anita asks the children to round the numbers to the nearest 10. Then she asks them to add the two numbers together to estimate the total. Allison and Lee round 168 
to 170. They round 123 to 120. They add the numbers together and get $290. That money will buy new books for the school library. Imagine adding together the number of books on bookshelves. You could use rounding to help you find the total. Activity box. Rounding works in your life. Two, imagine going to the store. You buy milk for $3.80 and a loaf of bread for $1.12. About how much money do you need? Round the numbers to the nearest dollar, then add them to get the total. Glossary, important words to know. Add is when you combine two numbers. Decimal points, dot symbols that separate numbers greater than one from numbers less than one. Digits, any of the numbers from zero to nine. Estimate, to make a good guess based on things you know or the guess itself. Exact, precise or correct. Measure, to determine the size of an object. Nearest hundred, closest hundred such as 100, 200, 300, and so on. Nearest 10, closest 10 such as 10, 20, 30, and so on. Non-standard tool, an unusual object used to measure something, a measuring object that is not standard in the way that a ruler is standard. Reasonable, makes sense. Round, change digits in a number while keeping the value similar. Subtract, to take a part away from a whole. Total, the sum or whole amount. Remember the rounding rule, find your number, look right next door. Four or less, just ignore. Five or greater, add one more.